In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to find seven figure winning drop shipping products from someone who's done over seven figures in this space completely for free. Let's jump over. Today, we're gonna to be going over finding winning products live. I'm actually taking you through this. This isn't a live video, but I am just gonna be recording it as it is and show you kind of my thought process behind picking products. I've had different products and different stores that have been successful all the way from six figure stores where I had a fashion store up to seven figure stores where we had things like pet beds and pet products for sale. I've actually made over six figures with e-com profit without ever spending a dollar on ads as well. And the way I do that is with Facebook Marketplace. I have other videos on the channel about that. So I'll leave a link to it down below. Essentially what we'll be doing today is finding winning products by looking here on AliExpress. And then what I recommend doing is cost nothing to post them on Facebook Marketplace, post them up, use that as a way to test product ideas. Even if you don't sell and you don't wanna make money through Marketplace, you can just list the products there, see how much interest you get from people messaging you. And that's gonna be a good indicator of whether or not you should run those products as ads. It's gonna save you a lot of money in ad spend. Now, let's look at products that trend well. You can already see my for you page is populating for me things that I would already sell. So when I look for things, let me hear the most dog water advice. Okay, you're gonna hear it needs to solve a product need, it needs to, you know, have a wow factor, it needs to do these things. With drop shipping, the majority of times you need to focus on one thing, which is making people impulse buy, because there are billions of options for people to get the product now. And people know about AliExpress, people know about Wish, people know about Timu. You need to, that's a good product there already, let's save that. You need to be able to convince them in hyper time to buy it. And so you're gonna use a whole range of different things on your website, urgency tactics, scarcity, things that people don't like to put normally, but you're also gonna combine that with products that are usually under $100, but have a higher perceived value, meaning you can make a large margin on them. You can force people to make that impulse decision. Anything with fast delivery, it's gonna be a bonus as well. Anything that has faster delivery is gonna massively curb down your amount of refunds. Now, whilst I would look at stuff like this and I'd be like, this would be cool to post, this would be cool to sell. Anyone who's gonna buy something like this is most likely gonna do some research. So if it's $92 and we sell it for 200, once we go past that $100 mark, people are gonna to start to put in more time to try and find it cheaper elsewhere. Under $100, most people are happy to impulse buy it. So I like to work within that $100 range. If you're gonna be running paid ads, okay, it's okay to go over, but I would then go the opposite route and I'd sell something worth multiple hundreds of dollars because you're gonna to need to make profit, you're gonna to need to have ad margin. There's a whole range of different things that go into it. So let's look over the first thing that I would do, okay? First one I grabbed is that watch. Is it Patagonia? Is that the brand, Patagonia? Is that what it's called? Pagani, it's close. Now, the first thing I would do is this watch, 100%, you could sell this on Marketplace and you could make some quick money. If you wanted quick money, you could sell it. Where you would go wrong is if you copied this product page. If you copied this product page and you put you know, 20 different options, what does it do? It devalues the look of the watch or the value of the watch. If you go to Rolex, there's an individual page for every single watch. They don't just jumble watches and then they up it even more where you can't buy it online. You've got to go into retailers. They say they don't stock it. You have to be on waiting lists. You're aiming for impulse buys, but you still want it to look like a high perceived or a higher value product. So what I would do is I'd take something like this, okay? And I would make a basic Shopify store. If you don't want to spend money on Shopify either to begin with, what I would recommend is using something like Hostinger or something like Stan Store where it's a lot cheaper for the monthly subscription and set up individual pages for each product. That's how I would do it. The funnels are gonna work so much smoother. I've been testing with Stan Store. It's usually only for digital products, but if you're selling with Facebook Marketplace, it is an absolute banger for physical products because you can have individual landing pages for each product. It includes email marketing, automated, unlimited email marketing. So you can follow up and keep hitting them. It's absolutely wild. What I would do, I'd have individual pages and then when something goes off, then I would move up to having a custom website or, or transitioning to Shopify. Although now I'm more convinced just staying with Stan, seeing the conversion rates on Stan are just absolutely smashing Shopify for me at the moment. I'll put a link for Stan as well down below um, for you guys to check out. 
But what I do is I create individual pages for each one of these and I would post them all individually as different marketplace posts. I wouldn't put like 20 pictures and say all of these are available. Each one would be a different post and I would put this for like 99 bucks. Maybe 129, 139, you still might get an impulse buy. But at that price, 99 bucks, you're gonna get a lot of just flash buys. You're gonna get people who have boom. You also have to check um, delivery, okay, and make sure that delivery is gonna be quick. But as it said, um, eight day delivery, you know, that's super nice. Like AliExpress is getting better and better. People hate on AliExpress, but if you take this right now, you screenshot them all, you post it on Facebook Marketplace for sale at 99 bucks each one, you're gonna make some sales, even two or three sales a week, okay, it's an extra 100 bucks, 150 bucks. And if you're just starting out, that can just be quick initial capital. And it's market research, because then you can take it and you can dump it across into ads. So this would be an absolute banger product. List them for 99 bucks, okay, have them all individual. Set up a stand store. There's probably not even a stand store, stand, um, dot store slash Pagani. You could have it just look like a whole entire brand, like you are the owner of this brand. It would be, it would stop people even searching outside of Google. The absolute banger. And to run ads to it would be pretty smart as well. A lot smarter than the Shopify route. Now let's go back. Jewelry, you can see is some of my favorite things to sell because it's lightweight, meaning shipping is usually cheaper or free if they offer these like eight day shipping. Shipping's normally faster and it's easier to have a higher perceived value. If you sell something like, you know, this is a manual sausage fucking paster. No one's gonna pay more than $5 for that because they can get it at a homeware store. No one's buying those, okay? No one's buying, flash buying them online. No one's like, damn, I really need one of these. And then you have to have convincing video ads, you have to have all of this garbage where you know, like, look at this. This is 99 cents, okay? This is, this is where you make your money. This is where you make your profit. This is 99 cents. It's got good reviews, five-star reviews all around so far. Fast delivery, eight days, you know, eight day delivery already. Boom, you could set up a stand store for it and call yourself like Lux B Designs or something. Make yourself like Valentina Designs. Make it look like some high-end brand. And I would charge like 59 bucks for these. Put them on marketplace for sale. You're not even paying any money for marketing. And then when a product takes off, then run ads. If you use Stan as well, like automated email marketing following up on these, you are really going to do some absolute damage. Look at that. Looks high end. Another product that I would list up. Take the product photos, list them up. When you list product photos as well, never have that garbage information that they put on it. The weight of it, the length of the band. Put that in the description. Don't have it in the photos. Makes it look tacky. Makes it look cheap. Um, anything where they have multiple products in a photo, like if it had 10 necklaces all around a fucking set of things, don't add that either. Because think about it, the more something is available, okay, the less valuable it is. So if there's only one, okay, it seems like it's a lot less. It seems like it's a lot more valuable and a lot less in supply. And guys, like this isn't just random advice. As I said, I had a store, Oslux Trends. This is all I sold, all I used this marketplace. Did over 138K in my first year on that store and over 100K profit. Think about those margins because no paid ads. Scroll down here, how else or what else I would look for as well is I would avoid things with variance. Variants create issues and variants create issues in shipping. So if you have something like, you know, these lip glosses and they have all different flavors and all different things, it creates issues because they say, I meant to order the other one or this happened or that happened. It's just a nightmare all around. I would look for, instead of selling something like that, let's take a heap of variants but bundle them together. So this is another thing I had a lot of success with. Women's bags, right? All of these will absolutely mop, but I'll give you guys an even better way. Look for sets. So, I mean, look at this. We wanna filter as well by orders. It's usually a great way to filter because it shows us what's actually selling. So girls or women are already buying these bag sets. This would be something, for example. It's got insane ratings, 62 already sold. It's only $12 and they're getting four bags. Again, don't have them all on one page, have individual pages or only list like two colors, white and black, or look at what colors the people are buying down here and then list those for sale. You can look in like the reviews, color black, color brown, eh. 
bit of a mix, black, black. I would go with black and white, to be honest. But something like this, you've got four pieces here. Call it like um, Ted Cross uh, luxury bag set. And I would have a stand store, stand.store slash Ted Lux or Ted Cross bags. And they'd be like, damn, this is the actual brand for these things. And I'll make it look so sexy, so clean. In fact, in the next video, I might actually create like a mini page to show you guys what it looks like to have funnels to sell products. Um, yeah, look at that though. I mean, you're just absolutely amazing. I would take that and I would list it up to 99 bucks and I would put a markdown price. So I'd say like Black Friday sales on at the moment. Um, or Christmas sale or New Year's sale, I would always attach some big thing to it. And I would say mark down from $400 to only 99 bucks. And the margins on that are gonna be great for you guys. You have free eight day delivery. You're not gonna have many complaints at all with eight day delivery. You're making 88 bucks with no ad spend. So that's sort of my main thought process behind finding seven figure products. I will drop more advanced lessons on this channel for you guys as well. Just leave it down in the comments if you want to see more advanced lessons or you want to see me show you how to set up funnels with Stay In Store and I'll take you through all that. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.